All right, so the last thing I really want to do in this video is, or in this series, is I want to, you know, add some colors. And uh, once I add the colors, I'm going to go and uh, turn this into an HDA, and we're going to go and uh, drag and drop it into Unreal, too, as well, in this series. Uh, but the last thing I really want to do with the model is uh, add some vertex colors just so we can customize it and see how things are coming together. All right, so uh, let's jump back into uh, Houdini over here and just mess around with some colors. So we set up all the groups already. What I'm going to do is uh, create a new subnetwork here and I'm going to call this uh, colors. Okay. And just feed it in like so. And then uh, double click to dive inside. And I'm just going to put in the null node here. Let's call this uh, geo in. There we go. And then uh, organize these guys off to the side here. Cool. All right. So first thing I think I'm going to focus on are all those door colors, because that's pretty much the accent color in this case. So I'm just going to drop down a color node. And we are going to put that onto the drawer font. And let's actually give it a color so we can see this in action here. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I think we also need the door front. Did we not uh, set that one up already? And I actually called it uh, door wood. There we go. So now we have our accent colors. I'm going to actually try to match the uh, reference as close as possible. In this case, just as a default value. So always important to have consistency in your names. Um, obviously that tripped me up there for a second. All right. And then the counter also has this, um, accent color. So if we go to counter, yeah, it's pretty much that. So then, um, let's copy this and clear out the group list here and let's make this more of like a wood color, kind of really desaturated and kind of bright here. So still, still has a little bit of color though. And so we're going to do the base wood. And uh, we're going to do cabinet wood and then all the verts and the horizontals. Those are all kind of the same color. And we should probably do the, the drawer wood as well. Can't really see it right now. That is one thing I want to do is I want to put in some overrides so you can pop these guys out or open the doors kind of thing. All right, let's copy that one more time. And also we should rename these. So I'm going to call this um, accent color. And this is going to be wood color. And this is going to be metal color. So um, I usually do this while I'm creating, um, you know, tools for level designers and uh, artists and stuff like that. And what I'll do is I'll just add uh, the colors first and get an idea of, you know, the main types of materials I really need. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. This also serves as a really good way to um, set up a debug colorization because once you, you know, start assigning materials and textures and uh, getting all your UV groups set up with the UV layout node, it gets a little slower. And so you want to be able to switch back and forth between that final mode and the debug mode. And so I use vertex colors for that debug mode. All right, so let's clear out the uh, group on the metal color, color there. And let's do the hinge and the knob. And let's make this kind of like bluish, really desaturated, pretty dark. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and I think that'll work just fine for now. All right, and we'll just uh, feed that into the output and call it good. Yeah, I'm digging that. All right, so we should also promote those. So let's go up to our controls here. And I'm actually going to get rid of this parameter there and uh, split my pane uh, left and right and just uh, lock this guy. Cool. All right. So we're going to need another uh, place for our colors. So let's uh, collapse all this stuff. And I'm just going to call this the color folder. And we'll call this colors. All right. So in this case, I'm just going to go and drag and drop these guys uh, just to show you guys another quick little tip here. So I want to be able to take this color that I've already set up, right? But it's going to tell you that you can't um, drag and drop that. Well, 
you can if you come up here to this little cogwheel and the type properties or, type, or um, the parameter interface over here and um, uncheck this forbid linking parameters outside of the subnet and then you can uh, go and drag and drop this stuff in there no prob all right so let's get these guys going hit apply see it took all right so this is going to be our accent color and i should put a underscore in there so accent color and then this is going to be our wood color And this guy's gonna be our metal color. There we go. Hit apply and accept. And we are pretty much good to go now. Yeah. So now we have our colors all the way at the bottom. And oh, one last thing. Let's go and make sure that that is also, actually, you know, I'm gonna switch all this stuff over to collapsibles while I have you guys here. <laughs> Uh, it'll just make it easier to use the interface, especially when you get tons and tons of, not that one, once you get tons of these uh, particular uh, folders in here, you want to, you don't, you want to prevent the user from having to scroll a ton, right? Because that is laborious, even though it's, I know it sounds easy, but um, now it's a lot easier just to get into, you know, the stuff that you want to control, right? So yeah, so now we can you know change these colors. So now all that's left to do is turn this into an HDA, which will go pretty quick, and then uh, do a test inside of uh, Unreal. All right, so I'm gonna close out the video here and move on to the next.